Yep. It finally happened. My car got hit. And it was a hit and run. I know it's not that much, but you can see it. It goes from here and here all the way to here. So it stops right about here. And then this chunk is just gone. That's that's the actual paint that's just done. Yeah. Well, I guess if you were to be hit, that's the best way to be hit, where it's not too bad. But yeah, I don't know what to say. <sighs> I guess it was bound to happen. I don't know. Um, probably happened sometime this morning while I was at my dental office getting another evaluation for my teeth. And when I got back just now, um, parked it right in front of the driveway, my cousin walks out. He's like, I think your car got hit. And it did. It's not too bad, I would say. For a hit, it's really minor. Just a very small scratch. Um, looks like the little scratches can be buffed out. Let's just say it's been a morning. I do have to go to work soon. I have not gotten a lot of studying done today because of my dental appointment and then coming home finding out about this. Oh, rough day. And then the coffee machine also broke, so... I don't know. I don't know. It's just one of those days. I do need to study, but I need a bit of a recharge. Gonna take a little bit of a nap. It's been a rough morning. Oh, God, I can't believe my car got hit. But it's okay. Whenever I have a rough day, I just have this guy. It makes it all better, right, baby? Getting lunch right now, and we're at this spot called Mian. They have a couple of locations. We're at the Roland Heights location. We have the Mapo Taofu noodles. And Nancy got the Chengdu? Chengdu noodles, yeah. Both have a one spice. They look really bomb. So, Shine Armor sent me a package to test out their products. This is the, I believe it's the graphene ceramic. Car's also been super dirty. I'm gonna test it on my car. And then, because my car has kind of newer paint, I'm gonna see the difference between how it works on my car and I'm gonna test it out on Carl's car too. So, it's the Carol Lee, my little cousin here. Hello is a uh, Honda Civic uh, but the paint is not in as good shape as um, the GR so let's just test the product on both and see what happens not sponsored by Meguiar's but I've used this one before this one's really nice I used to use the uh, chemical guys there but it's completely empty so we just went and buy some just this morning so this is the spray that they sent me um, I'm gonna wash the car first and then use it afterwards with the uh, microfiber towel that comes. So, yeah, put it off to the side for now. So, like I said, my paint is a little newer. So, this is even before the wash. So, look at the beads here, the water, and then you can compare the difference between this car and the Civic. And there is no beads on the on the car here, so yeah. Let's just see what the product does. I'm gonna wash up the car first. We got some soap here for our foam gun, and then a bucket of soap to help scrub the car.
So the Shine Armors uh, Graphene Ceramic Spray. So what it wants us to do is to spray onto the microfiber towel, wipe, um, wipe the product onto the paint, and then uh, let it sit for one to two hours and then buff with another microfiber towel and allow it to sit for four hours. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do kind of like a direct comparison immediately to see if it has like an immediate effect on one side of the hood compared to the other side um, of the Civic here. And then um, we're gonna do it on my car to see the difference too. But then uh, probably maybe next week or something we can do an update on see how it sits because it does need to curate for uh, four hours. Onto the so, towel. And then you just... Right? Yeah. Let's do this side of the hood. This top side? Yeah. This, uh, this... Right This side. right side, yeah. Okay. Just rub it in. Oh. It's really nice. Does it feel different? Yeah. On the other side? When I first started, it was, like, rough to scrub. Oh! Yeah, I feel it, right? Wait, this is a... Compare it. Yeah, it's like... What? Like, it's like smoother. It's way smoother. It's so much smoother. Yeah, this is a lot smoother. What? Oh, Wait, this product's actually pretty good. Maybe we should spray more now. Yeah, you can uh, do a little more. Just apply more to that area. That's it for a little. So here's, so the middle part right here is where the dividing point is. This side is extremely smooth. The only thing is like the paint hasn't been clay barred. So it's still a little, like you can feel a little bit of the dirt that's stuck on the paint. But for the most part, it is extremely smooth compared to this side. Like you can even see the resistance here on the paint. Like my, my hand isn't able to glide through. Whereas like this, I can just kind of glide through it, which is nice. So it's a really good product, actually. All right, um, why don't we try a water test? So you can see, see the difference here. Ooh, it's like coming off. Uh, on the right side, it's like slippery. Yeah. So it's definitely beating a lot more here compared to this side where it's just puddles of water and that and this is this is how old is this car like four or five years uh, 20, yeah like four or five yeah four or five years so look like if you just want a quick fix like this is not bad do it again a little more <clears throat> Yeah, so this side just kind of just slides off a lot better. And there's more like water beads compared to this side where there's basically none. So wow, yeah, this product actually works really well. Did the GR for the uh, right side here. Can't really tell a difference, but it feels way better. So this hand is gliding. And this side is like a little more rough. And this is, I mean, this car is only a year old, so that's, that's my comparison. But uh, let's do a little bit of a water test, see what happens. Yeah, and your car is much more beads and there's no really puddles. The right side is the one of the coat and the left side is the one of no coat. I think it just slides down fast. That side slides down way faster. That thing is still drying up, and that's already dry. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So we're in. Chill out. So check here. This side. And then you just do this. Okay, why don't we do this side first? 
can you see this side is still drying on the side. Pretty dry. Okay. And this side is still drying. Yep. Yeah. Dang, that's really good. Keep in mind that this is just like the application, wait about one to two minutes and then um, buff out with a microfiber towel. So this is like instant results. The instructions actually say to wait four hours before you add do any elements to it. So I'm going to be coat the car again and then uh, we can test it again next week. But just for like instant result, this is really, really good. Like I am surprised by how, um, how great it is. Like just the feel of it. It's so much smoother on the car and uh, the water properties, the hydrophobic properties is just amazing like I, i'm i'm actually very surprised by how well this product is this is not a paid sponsor uh they just sent me a product to give it a try in terms of uh smoothness it's way smoother like this just glides we just did the entire car um but looks wise i don't see a big difference in terms of like the shine Maybe a little, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. But for sure, the hydrophobic properties and the beating of the water is really, really good. So, I would actually recommend this product. It's really good. Spent all morning washing our cars, but this is the product that we use to um, kind of ceramic um, coat the car. Super quick kind of detailing, but it works super well. The cars are extremely smooth. Civic feels smoother than it's ever been in its entire life. <laughs> right? You said it yourself. The Civic feels smoother than it's ever been in its entire life. Shout out to Shine Armor for sending me the products. Uh, very great product. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I will link their Instagram somewhere right here. I don't know. Somewhere here. But they make Carl's Civic a lot smoother. I think the car is a 2019 or a 2018. So it's got a couple of years in it and it's been through um, some rough weather. Uh, my cousin had it in Georgia for a while. So a lot of uh, dirt and grime on that car. So it actually helped with the paint a lot. So I'm, I'm actually thoroughly surprised. And it made my car's paint a lot smoother. I know we should be clay barring and stuff before applying it, but I just wanted to give it a try. And yeah, I would say it's a very good product. But I'm gonna close off the vlog for this week here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.